art gallery for you, my art student and my potential student. Lexical resource accuracy, one of the important skills for your writing skills and for your speaking. So today I'm gonna to talk about uh, its writing in detail. So we have four areas. Uh, I will start with again, lexical resource accuracy. In simple word, it's your range of vocabulary, followed by the grammatical range and accuracy, task response and coherence and cohesion. So there are some things that we can help you out as an academy is to boost your grammatical skills, to help you out to understand that how would you incorporate the vocabulary. I just mentioned an art gallery while sitting in F9 Park. I have seen an art gallery. So how much would you know about the art gallery? Let's say if you got, got a topic in your exam about the art gallery. Do you have sufficient word that you can get 7, 7.5 band for that topic? Who knows? Secondly, uh, in vocabulary, people, students, teachers, they try to dense their content by putting so much vocabulary word, even if they don't have the, you know, like morphology, that where should I use this word? As you can see, the name indicate the lexical resource accuracy. You know how to use that word, right? And where I have to incorporate in the sentence. So sentence structure creation is an art. And for that, you need to understand the background of the word and the meaning of the word to incorporate in your speaking and writing skills. Having a good band score essay would require your detailed skill for the uh, vocabulary. So one area that is not being considered by the teacher and the students, they ignore the simple range of vocabulary. Let's say good, let's say bad, let's say to reason, because they are using these words time and again repeatedly and they are not focusing on the simple range of vocabulary. So apart from the topic dependent vocabulary, we have to work on, work on the simple range of vocabulary to enhance your skills. What I have seen, candidates who would be able to get a good band score apart from having, uh, you know, like the vocabulary that is topic dependent, they were quite dense in their range of vocabulary. So the, the pool for you where you can get and drive these words is the listening. Listen as much as you can to the different resources specific to your uh, topics. We can see there are like some uh, range of topics that will be repeating in IELTS. And for speaking, you, even whatever you practice from book 7 to 17, for writing and for 17, just explore those areas uh, apart from the IELTS sources by listening them, by reading them. Because listening will help you know how would you use in speaking and reading will help you how would you incorporate in your, uh, you can say, writing skills. That is followed by the grammatical range accuracy. So in the grammatical range accuracy, we have uh, tenses like present, past, future and their subs place. When we have sentences like simple, compound, complex, compound, complex, and active, passive, question-based sentences, try to add the range over here. Uh, in grammatical range, most of the candidates, the problem I have noticed that they are writing their response in one tense, in writing. They are not using the range. Similarly, for speaking, look at the examiner. What is his intention? If he is asking the question from you in a tense, let's say past tense, but the question has been dynamically designed in such way that you can answer them in two form of the past, past simple and past perfect. Now, moving on towards the task response. Task response is the idea. It's need your exposure, like how much you read, how much you listen, and how much you practice. So this is something that you have to go out of the box, listen to the different resources, write, uh, read different resources to boost your score, and again, practice time and again. So as M&M is giving you an opportunity to go for your mock, and you will, be ha you will have to write down the writing task on a daily basis, and you'll get the feedback in 24 hours. I hope this will help you to boost your score. Last but not least is the clarity in your mind and on your paper. That's called as coherence and cohesion. So coherence is in the writer's mind, in the writer's hand. You have, should have an ability to have a clear flow. Do not mix the things up. Just write two or three ideas in your essay and make it clear. Then using cohesive devices, like say where to use the additive devices such as in addition, furthermore, moreover. But try not to, you know, like overflow of these devices. Just be normal, neutral and natural in the use of cohesive devices. Similarly, for the contrast, we have despite, however, and so on. Similarly, for the consequences, we can use those devices, but do not overflow. Be natural in this response, right? And we have the this task one. All of the things are the same, uh, except for the task response. In task one, we have task achievement, that you have to achieve the given task. So this is something about the marking criteria of writing. And we also had given a touch to the speaking as well. So I'll close with the speaking. In speaking, your vocabulary and grammar will be the same. 
we have two things that is fluency how much uh, you can speak let's say at length like you must be fluent to speak at length there must not be hesitation or ahs and ums in your speaking and you have to be natural in your flow and then pronunciation you know like intelligibility in your speak like lows and highs you know how to use those skills in speaking so mnm is a home for you to boost your writing and speaking skills and we'll coming for you again with reading and listening thank you very much